keeps burning on and on We want it to stop, please stop The fire is separating our home Please make it stop The fire is destroying the place Please fire go away We are feeling lost, scared and Fire is smoky, we can only smell gasoline. The fire is so smoky, it makes everything dark. We just wanna sit and cry. The fire keeps burning on and on. We want it to stop, please stop. The fire is separating our home. Please make it stop. The fire is destroying the place Please fire go some kind of underground shelter or something. We're running out of time. What? Are you crazy? What about our friends and family? What if they die? Ever since your family adopted me, I felt emotionless. Ever since this wolf family threw away my stuff from my human birth family, I felt distressed. So I don't want to rescue them and risk my life. Really? I didn't know that. I feel sorry. But wait, look, I have a photo. It looks like you and a, a human. I guess it's time to tell you. Tell me what? Katie is my human sister. You have a human sister? Yes, and I'm going to her house near the wetlands. I need somewhere safe to go, and maybe she can help us all. Well, do your thing. But I'm gonna find our family. Wait! What's wrong? Here's a picture of me and you, together. <sighs> Thanks. You really are the best brother and friend. Hi, how are you? Please don't bully me today. I don't care. Give me your lunch. I'm hungry. No, get your own lunch. I can't get any lunch because I've missed too much school, smarthead. Why should I give you lunch, Mino? 
I can't get lunch because of the drought, dummy. If you had perfect attendance, you would get food. I was just helping my dad, silly. Well, I'm gonna eat my lunch at the end of the table. Stop! Why? Because I said so. Why do you want my lunch so bad, bully? Because you live in the wetlands and get fresh food. And I live in the drought and don't get enough food, and that's not fair. Too bad, so sad, that's life. If you weren't so mean, I would change my mind and maybe give you food. Well, I'm the one that's popular, and you're just a school nerd, and you do what I say. Give me your lunch now, or I'll take, take it. I'm not a nerd. You're just a bull, bull, bully. If you had perfect attendance, you would get food and you wouldn't have to bully me. I'm not a bully. We can't get food at home because of the drought. And I can't get food here because I'm always at home on the farm fixing the drought with my dad. And I'm hungry. Can you please just give me some of your food? Wow, why did I mean to make you cry? Please, 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 please don't tell anyone. Can you please just give me some of your food? Fine. You deserve it. But don't bully anymore, it hurts my feelings. Deal. Thank you. I'm sorry you have to deal with the drought. You can come hang out in the wetlands if you ever want to. I need you to come home. I need your help. Again? Oh, I don't want to do the work. I want to go to school and make friends. Don't give me that attitude, young lady. I understand you want to stay in school, but you know how serious the drought is. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know it stinks, but your family needs you. The farm needs you. What's happening? My dad wants me to come home and help him on the farm again. And that's so annoying. Please, come help me. I told you, I'm not going. You can do it by yourself. I've done this every single day for a week. Every single day. Young lady, the farm store is going to have to raise its prices. We are working so hard trying to save what we can. Please, you're going to have to miss school. No, no, I'm not missing any more school because of this drought. How am I supposed to learn? How am I supposed to make friends? You can go back to school after the drought is over. I'm sorry it's like this. Are you crazy? School is more important than some drought. If the drought continues without us saving the farm, we won't have any money or resources. There might not even be school anymore for anyone. No! <sighs> I can't believe my dad keeps calling me about this stupid drought. I can help. That way you don't have to be so alone. I know it stinks, but a drought is a serious problem. You would help me? But I was so me. You apologized. And there's bigger problems. I deserve to help you. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm gonna go home to the wetlands and get resources to help you. I'll meet you tomorrow at the farm. Sounds like a plan, Dahlia Duck. Hi, Mike. You want the usual? Yeah. Here's thirty-five dollars. I can't wait. Woohoo! It's fifty. Sorry. Oh. It's always been thirty-five dollars. Oh. Uh, is that enough? Sorry, bud. I had to raise the prices because of the drought. Since it's not raining, my crops aren't growing. Okay, I'm sorry, but uh. I would have to speak to your manager. It's always been $35. I am the manager. I need to charge more so I can feed my family. Well, I need my food because I'm hungry. Can't you give um, 
an old college buddy a discount. Well, everyone wants food, not just you. So if I give you a discount, I will have to give everyone a discount. If you give me this discount, um, I help you on the farm. Hmm. Okay. Fine. You can help on the farm. Deal! <laughs> uh. <laughs> D yeah. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Mike the cat agrees to help Otto on the farm so he has the food he needs to survive. However, Mike loses his sense of purpose on the farm. What is a cat supposed to do on a farm? Sure, he can help with all of the usual farm business, but something still feels missing. Meanwhile, Otto is hard at work, trying to respond to the drought while also thinking about the birthday party he's got to plan for his daughter. Hello, Nicole White. Are you ready for your birthday party? <laughs> yes, Dad. I cannot wait. Okay, I'll call you back. I'm just going into town to sell some gasoline to a car dealership, and then I'll bring these matches for your birthday cake. It's your favorite. It's chalk. Whoa! 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 Dad? Dad, is everything okay? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, I'm just running really fast. I am uh, screaming uh, in an explosion. Um, explosion? <laughs> what? What explosion? I don't know what you're talking about. You're just overexcited because it's your birthday. Whatever. <laughs> My bell rang, the teacher's calling us. Bye. Bye. Wait, 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 I have a question. Make it quick. Is my chocolate pan gonna have frosting uh, on it or residual? Sure, yeah, frosting, whatever. My truck's on fire and also my tires. My daughter's birthday cake is aflame. I'm the one that should get blamed. The farm will lose its fame because of me. A lot of animals lost a lot of homes because of me.
smell. It's awful. And what's all that smoke? Oh. Hey, Arda. Hi, Arda. I was just on my way to the forest to get some apples to eat. Don't go there. The wildfire's over there. Don't you see that the grass and the trees are so dry? The wildfire is spreading. Uh, I don't care. I'm hungry. Otto is freaked out and decides to give up on trying to convince Bob. In a panic, Bob runs home to hide out. Bob goes towards his mansion, which is right by Forest Park. He stops in his tracks when he rounds the curve of the road and sees his mansion on fire. Where's the rest of the family? Everyone's okay. What happened? I haven't seen you in years. There is a wildfire in Forest Park. I came here to warn you. You were the first person I could think of to come to. You poor thing. Of course you can stay with me. My dear poor brother. Where in Forest Park is the wildfire? By the big fountain for now. That's where our cousin Bob lives, uh, near Forest Park. I don't know, Bob. We've never met. Oh, well, he's our rich cousin. Well, maybe we should call him to make sure he's okay. That's a great idea. Let's call him. Bob comes in and tells Katie and Sam that his beautiful mansion right next to Forest Park was burned down in the wildfire, which is still spreading through the forest. Katie invites Bob to stay with her, and Katie leaves with Bob to see if there's anything they can save from his mansion. Sam realizes he has the number for his friend, Mr. Kale, on his phone, which he can't find. Maybe he left it upstairs? He thinks Mr. Kale can help with the wildfire because he runs an emergency kit company, so he can give them free emergency kits. Meanwhile... You have to tell your owner to build more houses, or else I'm not going to give you any more homemade maple syrup dog treats. Where should I tell her to build the houses? Somewhere here in the, in the wetlands. Gasp. That Rosie, how dare she? Oh, that Stina, how could she? I can't believe Rosie's trying to do this to me while she knows I'm trying to keep the wetlands safe. Why would she do this to me? You know what? What? I'm going to confront them. Make sure you come tomorrow and tell me what she says. And if she says yes, I'll make sure that Dahlia Duck stays out of the way of construction. Hi there. Oh, uh, hi. Dark. Hey, Stina. Stop acting like you don't know. Who's Stina? I'm not Stina. I don't even know a Stina. I know what you were talking about. How dare you, Rosie? You're trying to build buildings over my home. What are you talking about? This is just a random dog. Do dogs even talk? Who, who do you think you are saying dogs don't talk? And who even are you? Stop acting! Enough! Oh, there you are, Stina. I've been looking all over for you. Come on, let's go get you some wet food. Uh, I hate wet food. What did you say, Stina? Uh, uh, bark. Uh, yay, wet food. Bark. Let's go. You know what? What? I'm going to make sure you and Stina are never going to build houses here. I'm going to call my duck friends and we're going to swim around forever! 
Barka, barka, barka. What do you want, Stina? Uh, could you uh, build houses on the wetlands? Why? It's my favorite place. You could make some money. Hmm. How much? Maybe like uh, a thousand. Eh. Uh, you could be the owner. Get the money! Okay, let's do this. I could finally use the money for the animal shelter I want to build. Yes! Finally! More maple treats! It's been one whole week. Get out of the way! No, me and my duck friends are not going to let you build houses here. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Ugh, I knew it! Hey, don't mess with my friend! Oh, whatever. I know you just want them to build houses so you can sneak in and get human food when you have all the food you need in the woods right by the wetlands. You know what? What? I'm gonna tell you something. talking about? Yeah, that's a good thing. It's not a good thing. Why? <laughs> because it's been so long since the last fire and all the oak trees are dying. Without fire, all the fir trees are getting out of control. There are only 10 oak trees left. 10 trees. 10 trees of acorns for like a hundred squirrels. If there were 99 of us, Maybe it might work, but with the hundred, it can't. <laughs> Rosie keeps on explaining how the squirrels have lost all of their acorn trees due to humans coming in and suppressing the small wildfires that clear space for the oak trees to thrive, which is why she came up with a plan to build houses for humans right in the wetlands so she and the other squirrels can sneak into them and eat human food or take food from their garbage. Dahlia understands why Rosie is doing this, but is still really upset that she would lose her home. After an epic struggle between the ducks and the construction workers, the construction workers win and the building begins. Ugh. Meanwhile, Sam starts searching for his phone. Oh, where? Oh, where? Oh, where could it be? I need my phone so badly. Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where could it be? The kitchen, no, the living room, maybe it. Mm, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where could it be? It's an emergency. Oh, oh where, oh, where, oh, where could it be? That's the last room. Wait a minute. Ah, who put my phone in the laundry? It's broken. I have to call Mr. Kale, but it's broken. Curse this phone. Where is the house phone? Who's knocking on the door? Who is it? You know what? I'm just opening the door. the wetlands be help i need help my head is flooded my arm is shrinking my legs are leaking your house is sinking i'm disappearing which means i'm everywhere sam will you help me do you care my phone 
phone is broken, can't call and we're in need. We have to do it on our own, don't have anyone else to lead. Oh where, oh where could the wetlands be? There's no wetlands as far as I can see. Miss Water, I want to ask you a question. Do you have any ideas to help with the forest fire? What forest fire? Something horrible happened today. Today, me and Kia were walking around in the forest when we saw a big wildfire. The biggest wildfire I've ever seen. How did it start? I have no idea. It's still going on. All the natural resources are dying. When I left, my adopted wolf family was still there, but... Now I don't know where they are. I don't know if I'll find them again. Oh, I feel bad for you, but I need a place to go. There's no wetlands and I'm flooding this place and your house. It's Katie's house. Well, it's my house now too. Oh, how did this happen? I just got bigger recently and all of a sudden, I found myself in your house. I'm so sorry. Hmm, what I would do is I would find a big sponge. Where is the big spongy? I saw them in the laundry room. I'm in the laundry room. Wait, you'll see. Oh, that is a big spongy. But it only absorbed a little part of me. I'm still all over the living room and the bedroom. Well, I have a few more. A few more sponges? Yes, and I have one more than three. First of all, I'm very impressed with how many giant sponges you keep. You're so prepared for flooding. Yeah, okay. Mmm. <gasps> I feel a little smaller with these sponges, and I feel a little jazzy. Here's another problem. I'm still all over the house next door and on the street, and they don't have any sponges. Well, maybe if you help me with this wildfire, which is all over the news, I can help you. That gives me an idea. What if you help me gather all myself and you dig a trench so I can flow to the forest fire? Well, I could try, but it's not going to be easy. I have to pay the rent and everything. Well, maybe someone can help us. Maybe Dahlia Duck and them can help. You know Dahlia Duke? You know Dahlia Duke? You're familiar. Do you think there's a way we can get me to the forest fire? Yes, I can call Katie. Why don't you call some friends to come over? I'll call them right now. Oh, wait. Maybe I can go talk to Dahlia Duke through my water body, huh? Okay. <laughs> Dahlia Duke, remember me, Miss Water? Did Rosie get any better? Can you help me with something? So I need help with... I have a problem, wetlands. Yes, I know you still don't have your wetlands, but I have a friend who can help us. His name is Sam. Yeah, Sam. What? You want me to get him on the phone? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just tell you the plan. The plan is... Uh, maybe you can help Sam uh, build a trench? Huh? Okay. Thank you for helping. Can you bring some other friends too? Bring Rosie. I, I know you're not friends anymore, but at least try to bring her. I'll try to communicate with you and her. Huh? Huh? But just bring her, please, please. Uh, Great. Make sure you bring Rosie. What? Oh, can you can you try to put your feelings aside just for now? This is urgent. Okay. Meet you here. Bye. 
All right, everyone, I'm gonna give you construction hats and then we're gonna start working. All, All right. right, one, two, three, let's build. All right, Miss Water, you ready to put out the fire? I'm so sick, I don't know if I can hold this. I feel like nails are coming in. Oh God, I think I'm poisoned. It's over, the wildfire's over. Finally, it's over. But am I going to be okay? I still feel like nails are coming in. And I'm still flooding the city. I feel like a splat of juice. I'm all over the concrete, and I'm right next to the wax museum. I feel like a waterfall. Are you all going to help me or not? While the town is celebrating having put out the wildfire, the contaminated water floods and pools all over the city. This leads to the bug population quickly exploding, and certain pesky pests find their way to Otto's farm, overwhelming his crops. Sam tries to think of a way to help Ms. Water. Everyone in the town starts putting their lives back together in the wake of the wildfire. Oh, it's a beautiful day to milk the cow. <laughs> oh, oh God. Stay calm, Nicole. Slowly walk away. I need to call an exterminator. Hello? Can you please send your best man out here? I have a serious bug problem, and if we don't fix it, we'll have a serious food problem, so make it fast. Okay, gotta go get my bucket. What the? Hi, I'm Frank, the exterminator. This better be a joke. This is a tomato. The bugs will eat him alive. Well, that was very mean. I'm not just a tomato. <gasps> Whoa. You have a serious bug problem. This is worse than I've ever seen. Luckily, I'm the best. You better be the best. Cause if not, I'm gonna make you into pizza sauce. Listen, my best friend, Basil, they died. I miss them more than anything. But we are on a farm. And you're growing, Basil. I have a chance to save my friend again. Nicole Watt, I'm going to get all these bugs for you, just like an anteater. I don't believe you. Prove that you can get rid of these bugs. Okay, I'll show you. Wait, you cannot use that spray. It's bad for the plants. I know a way to get them away. I will scare them away into the house. Look, it's not working, okay? They're running around and not getting into the house. I'm bringing tomato friends. Even more tomatoes? They're going to help. OMG! These bugs almost ate all the plants. We gotta hurry. Ah! Poor Basil. Guys, let's hurry! Frank and his tomato friends failed to scare the bugs away. He and Nicole are at a loss for what to do. My name's Cater, and I'm a park ranger. <coughs> What's your name? I'm Raphael, the wizard. And I have this rare disease called Estabada. What? What is Etigabagabaga? <laughs> it's E T R B S T T E R. Etabuda. I drank poison water near the wax museum on the street and 
Now I lay eggs every day. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. I'll seal the eggs come nightfall. Convenient. These will make great bug eaters. Save the farm. BTW, I'm not a park ranger. I just said that so I could steal the birds. My name isn't Cater. It's actually Otto. <laughs> now to return these birds to the farm so they could eat all these pesky pests. <laughs> Where are they? Did you see the park ranger? Where did they go? I will find you, park ranger, if it's the last thing I do. Woo, woo, woo. I just came from a wax museum, and before that, a forest fire, and before that, Sam's, and before that, I was kicked out of my home. Oh, yeah, and the bird drank from me. Oh, it was you. You gave me the Erica Badu disease, and they got oh. stolen, so you got to help me, or I'll drink you and get stage a billion Estee Lauder disease. I'd like to help, but I'm contaminated, and I'm afraid I'll keep uh, spreading this uh, Erica Easter Badu bitter uh, disease if I keep traveling. Huh? I'll take your head and arms. The rest of you can stay here and try not to flood everything. Okay, well, all right, but I might contaminate your house. Then we gotta be fast. Let me find you, Park Ranger. Cuckoo! I want my babies back. I don't know where they're at. I want my babies back. I'm on the hunt. And when I see that Ranger, when I see that Ranger, when I see that Ranger, I'm gonna find them today. And I will get them back, back, back. Miss Water expands herself to help Rafaela learn that the little birds are at the farm. Rafaela heads to the farm. Rafaela rushes in to discover her babies eating the bugs. Otto apologizes and explains that the pests were brought about by Miss Water's pollution and that he desperately needed help. Rafaela tells Otto she understands why he did what he did. They agree that Rafaela and her babies can live on the farm to help with pests. Rafaela tells them that when she left Ms. Water, Ms. Water still needed help and convinces them to go to the forest to see what they can do. They all head to the forest. Hey, Ms. Water. Thank you for putting out the wildfire. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. So much. I couldn't have done it without all your help, but I'm poisoned now. What? Oh, what? Wow. No. We can help you. Please, don't get mad, but I don't trust y'all. What? what? That's what? 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 But we need you. I need to stay away until I get clean. I don't want to cause any more trouble. I have an idea. I hope you accept. My idea is maybe we can build a pond in the city with plants in it to help clean you out. You can stay there, and you can stop the flooding everywhere. Yes, that's, yes. Great. that's a great that's idea. Great. I want to be great. in the pond. I don't think so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me tell you something. Water, I need you because of the drought. I can protect you from Because it feels like you're my family. We need you all. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Cause they do too much. 
Should I, should I not? I have no idea, feels like I think too much. Should I trust the humans? Should I not? It's tied up in my brain like a knot. I need you because it feels like you're my family You saved me, you saved the trees Even though you flooded my house I feel gratitude happening in this place That's what's happening in this spot I need you because I need to survive I need you because I want to claim you I need you because it feels like you're my family We need each other You are very, very kind. Why, well, thank you. I think I changed my mind. I'll let you help me build a pond to stay in. Yay! Yes! yes! Oh, thank you so much. Oh, look. I think we need to work on this forest. All the trees are gone. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby oh, trees. Oh, it's going to take a long time. The plan is... We're going to plant trees in the ground. And we can bring them some water. We can check on them once a week, twice if you want. And since Bob is very rich, even though he doesn't have his big mansion anymore, he still has a ton of money. And he can buy us all the trees and tools that we need. Everybody got that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Clear. I agree with you. I'll go ahead and start buying some trees. Wait, what type of trees are we supposed to buy? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Trees. Well, I can help. I need oak trees. Hey, Rosie. Hey, Rosie, hey, Rosie. Rosie. my girl. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Rosie. What you doing? I'm good. I just want to eat acorns and help. So Bob should buy oak trees, right, Katie? What about the animals that lost their home in the fire? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What about yeah. that? Well, I could open the animal shelter to all the hurt and homeless animals with the money we earn from the new homes on the wetlands. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Oh, yes. <laughs> so ingenious, so smart. As the next few weeks unfold, the residents of the city return to their lives. The drought shows no sign of getting better, but they start to find new ways of helping each other adapt. Sam, Bob, Katie, and Kia now live together as a new family in Katie's house, and they work every day to replant the forest with Rosie's help. She and her squirrel friends now live in the new forest park. Nearby, Ms. Water is happy in her new pond, getting cleaner and cleaner, and is helping water trees and crops when and where she can. Frank the tomato lives with Ms. Water and helps keep the plants there happy and healthy. He keeps watch to make sure no new fires are accidentally started because the drought is still going on and because that's what tomatoes do. Bob and Katie start working on a new water lab to turn salt water into fresh water, plus build lasers. Mike the cat finds his passion and becomes the school lunch cat. He starts a new lunch program, working with the farm to make sure every student gets food no matter what. On the farm, Rafaela lives happily with her babies, keeping the pests at bay. Turns out, there is a cure for Herbstetter disease that Otto and Nicole help her find. Stia and her owner are taking care of injured and homeless animals from the wildfire in their new animal shelter and are trying to find them new homes. Mm. Dahlia is still protesting the destruction of her home. She needs all the help she can get. A little while later, Nicole White finally gets the birthday party she's been waiting for, with frosting on her cake. Everyone gathers to celebrate. They joke and talk about the crazy events of the last few months, 
feeling grateful they are moving on. During a quiet moment in the conversation, as everyone munches on birthday cake, Sam asks a question that has been lingering in the back of everyone's minds. Wait a minute. Who started the fire in the first place?